when I went to college, 1950, I graduated, went to college, and I became more vocal. But the situation was very relaxed. It was not as it is today. You be a Muslim or not Muslim or atheist, no big deal in those days. But I generally say, oh, I'm atheist, big deal. Nobody said you know, that's the way it was at that time. So it, see, it was a very secular environment at that time. But talking about 1950, 55, that time in India, Hindus, Muslim lived together. But God is not something one pay much attention. I mean, it may be a big deal for you, for a society. It was not something that people can hang on to. That it's very different at that time. So that to me, the truly, truly non-religious secular society. I lived in Pakistan five, five years. Fifty-five I went to Pakistan. Sixty I came to America. Sixty-eight I went to Pakistan. It's still at that time we were quite liberal in terms of nobody was talking about religion or something like that. But there was something interesting. There was a lot of madrasas being opening up different location, not very many. And my brother had told me something bothers him. He was a he was the commissioner of income tax. So he was a very open, liberal person. He said that these little madrasas are opening other places. He, he thinks something is going to happen. These children will be turned into fanatics and they'll, and they'll be used. I mean, that was no Jamaat Islami, no ISIS. But he was, for some reason, he has an insight that these things change into some, become a monster. So I went to Pakistan two or three times, never went back to India until. 2001. One thing I noticed when I went to India, that all the mosques were teeny, teeny small mosques, and these are becoming square. The three, four story building, this building can become mosque has become big, gigantic, and the people are poor. So I wonder why Muslims are in India are not well off, are more poor than they were, and the mosques are giving you know skyrocketing. Until I knew later that the money is coming from Saudi Arabia, they are giving all the money. So you can imagine, and many people are poor, they send the children to mother, mosque, they have mother's heart, they give free room and board. So India is the same thing, going in the same direction, Muslim come. Muslim in India are moving the same radicalization like Pakistan. When I came to America in early 1960, I came here at that time, things were among my Muslim friends, nobody was upset about it. I have a feeling of a, a atheism, but they were not concerned about these things. As a matter of fact, they asked me to lead prayer. I was in third years of my college in India, in the Patna, where I come from, 53, 54. And at that time, I was writing an article on cosmology. At that time, cosmology was not a word. It's a new word. They used astronomy, astrophysics. Cosmology is a new word. But I wrote an article on the outer space, star and all that. And I ended that article with a killing line with mention, man will no longer believe in the man-made God, something like that. So that was a ending line. That whole thing was about, I'm trying to develop a scene of, as that, that, so young I was, trying to make an idea, think people, the cosmos, environment, skies, stars, galaxies. Here I'm taking people and we are, sitting in a little world of, you know, Jannat and Dorzak and all that. And so I was opening the horizon of mind. Where the God fit in? Because the Muslim God was very limited, you know, within this place. So that was my way to open the consciousness of people. When I, I had this cancer, so I was very conscious. I said, I'm going to die. But at that time, I never thought, thought of God or dying. You know, there's no fear of death. And normally what happens, people at that stage, at cancer, dying and all that, they go back to religion. That didn't happen to me.